What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Manor Lords. The game is officially out now for everybody. Uh, I did have a little bit of early access the last time I played and it's been actually about a week since then. Now since the game has fully released, unfortunately that comes with some other issues with saves not being able to load. So I am starting a new save today but we're going to fast forward time this time around and try to catch up to where I was at. I'm also going to make the marketplace a lot sooner than I did last time. And then we'll also, uh, I feel like I've kind of got a good grasp on the game that we can kind of speed things up a little bit. So with that said, I think we're just going to go ahead and hit new game here, load into it, get it started. And if you guys do enjoy this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. We hit like that 20 like goal ish. I'll go ahead and record more episodes and continue updating this. But either way, I'm going to probably keep a good eye on this game because it's been pretty cool so far and I have enjoyed my time with it. So let's uh, let's see what we got with the release of uh, or, well, early access release of the game. We'll go with this one. And all right, let's see. Man, the music is so good here. Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy on the... Sure, we'll, we'll go with that. That works. And we're going to go Rise to Prosperity, I think it was. That's the same setting we chose from before. And I didn't change anything there. Let's hit begin. And let's get right into it. So once I start placing things down and kind of remember everything then at that point we'll uh we'll speed things up so that way it gets created and then we can continue on but here we are a new message reach the large town settlement level to achieve victory need food and fuel supplies in the region yep got that looks like it pretty much drops you into the same spot as before but this time Oh, maybe it doesn't. I think we were over here. Or maybe we were here before. Yeah, no, actually, this seems like it's a little bit different. Because we got clay. We got berries. Last time we had, like, uh, stone around here, too. Forget where we were. We might have been, like, down here. In this area? Yeah, I think we were right here. And I built... There wasn't as many trees. But anyways. Um, that's fine. Go ahead and get this started. Hold on, let me see if I can just... Turn the audio down a little bit. I do love the music. Okay, where are we at? Right... right here. Wait, where'd the little camp go? Here we are. There we are. Jeez. It's kind of easy to miss. Alright, let's make a thing to the road first of all. Start from here. Sure. And then, I don't know if we really need to connect these like this, but I'll do it anyways. Just so we have it. Whoa. Alright, that works. And we got a different lay of land here, so I'm not sure what to... Uh... I guess we'll start with the logging camp first, of course. Yeah. We'll start with that. And put it like right. Be sure to check all resource deposits as they investigate the soil fertility before deciding the direction of your town. If your region has weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. We also need to wait. Uh, these people are waiting for a burge plots or gauge plots causing loss of approval freezing got it yep 
So those will automatically, they'll start working on it because I don't have any facilities for people to be assigned to yet anyways. So that'll work. Set that up. Then I think if we go a home. Trying to think how we can do this here. He actually set up another road. Huh. That's very... That's inter oh, okay. I see. It wants to do that because it would wrap to here. And then from there... Yep. I see. I see. I'll do this just for right now. When we make our marketplace, I'll make it like over here. Just about. Same thing with like the tavern and all of that. And then now. Let's not go too crazy just yet. But let's go. This. Do that. Ooh, if we can actually get three houses in here, that's perfect. I won't complain about that. Definitely set this as the priority, though. Because we're going to need that. That's got the highest priority. All right, let's let's uh, let's get moving. We'll do a little bit of fast forwarding here to try to catch up to where we are at. Stonecutter camp. I definitely want to do a lodge construction costs. Okay. Yeah, we got we have to create this first because I can't even make anything else to begin with. So <laughs> once this is crafted, then we can uh, go ahead and do that. So do I even I move in fast forward? Time? I still love this feature. It really is so cool. Being able to go in and see your people and everything. Seeing them walk around while building the city up. So good. Now, don't mind me. It's, uh, like I said, it has been like a week or so since I last played. So just trying to kind of pick all that up again. And then once I do, we're uh, should be good to go because it'll, it'll click. All right. So we got the logging camp set up now, which is good. We'll definitely need to assign somebody here. Let's assign somebody right now. We need a granary. All right. We need granary and uh, storage locations too. Storehouse. Is this one? Yeah, we got to get. We really got to get. Uh, some logs speed it up a little bit and any unworking families or any families not assigned somewhere will just come over here and build houses instead now what requirements do they have water access so we'll need to build a well we change it back to normal speed for right now we, yeah, we need some timber before we can do that. So we'll get a, a well. Then I, I definitely want to get the the woodcutter's lodge. We'll probably get after I get the storage for the granary in the storehouse. Axe station at some point we'll get. Once we have uh, some planks here, we'll upgrade this hitching post to a small stable. And order another ox. All right, how are we doing right now? No logs stored. They're out there chopping some wood down. I hear them. Yep, there's one. Jorg, Thomas, and Conard, Conrad. They're doing their thing. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. What? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> All right, nice. We got some more people joining us now. All right, let's see. 
We got two logs. We can make one more thing here. Let's go with... I'm trying to think. Yeah, I couldn't believe how long it took me last time to remember. We'll go here for that. And then if the granary can fit. Um, right there. Let's set up a marketplace. A hunting camp. Also do that. Get one of these. A bunch of berries right there, so let's try to make it a little bit close. Actually... Hmm. I guess it doesn't really make sense to have the hunting camp all the way over here. But then he would have to travel so far. I should make it a little bit closer to the road. Let me actually... Yeah, let's demolish the hunting camp. And then this forager hut. I'm going to make a path over to this road here. Just so they have one. Hunting camp. We'll put one. I can actually put it uh, along the road. Like all the way over there. Kind of interesting. I don't know if you, if anybody knows, like if if you're an expert in this game, is there any negative to me putting it all the way over here and then just creating a road to here and then it will travel there? I don't see why not in a way, unless if like he got attacked or something. But let me actually try doing that. Because it's either I can put it closer, which now he's going to go to those wild animals. Because I don't see any other ones around here. Or I could put it over here and then he would just have to travel there and then come all the way back. Um, hmm. I'll try it. Uh, yeah, we'll do a little test here. A little testing phase. For a second, I was second guessing and saying, maybe I'll just put it here instead. So that way he'll be close to the camp, but he won't have to travel out as far. Um, I don't know. He's going to have to walk the same distance either way, unless if there's like hidden animals throughout these trees that they go after. Then let's get a... So we still got plenty of those coming in right now. We've already got those in the works. We need a well. Get a well going right here. Nice. That's actually a perfect area. Marketplace. We'll put the marketplace. Right there. Perfect. Woo! <laughs> I made the marketplace within the first 15 minutes. Not bad, not bad. It took me way too long last time. I know, I know. Assigned families will set up will set up stalls automatically. I love the automatic part of this game where if you don't manually assign people to things, then they will automatically go and do other things. I absolutely love that aspect of this. Some night, some things it's nice and like it still has that possibility of you, like if there's really one thing you want to do, you can go ahead and do that. There's like, oh, I want Margaret to not do any of this. 
Like, you can still uh, micromanage a lot more if you really choose to. But I, I like the, the automation. Like, okay, I'm going to put this here. Now people go build it. I'm going to put this here. Now people go build it. Okay, we want to assign one person here. You don't have to actually individually assign families. You can literally just hit plus one. Plus one family now works here. Plus one family now works here. It's beautiful for that. Absolutely beautiful. Speaking of plus one family, let's actually take away one family so that way these can get built. And it's nice because they're evenly getting built, it seems like. The well is definitely making progress. Once we get the storehouse, then there's the granary. So this one should be good. Yeah, we got some exposed goods out there right now. I could uh, speed this up a little bit. So since we have, we have three families, we need more to do this, I guess. Make some more houses. But I'm going to prioritize making everything else first. So put this one on high. Put the well on high. Put this on high. Put it to times four. Do we still have the hunting camp? Oh god. That means they're gonna have to go all the way out there to go make this. I'll leave that one on medium. Construction finished. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Summer's coming soon. And soon the beating sun. Yes, yeah, only only two more houses are missing a house or right, two more yeah two more families are missing a house but we're making progress got both of these see that's what's really nice since we sped everything up now we can start to disperse get one one and one no unassigned families to move the ox. Oh, sorry, let's remove one. As much as I want to have more people. Yeah, we got one unassigned family and then four that are assigned to different things. We're going to need another family soon. Speed it up. Get everybody moving here. They're still working on this house. How's the um is somebody going out here and like crafting this? Under construction. Oh, this guy. Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, part of me is thinking about, let's move this. Yeah, I don't want it to be all the way out there. Let me move it a little bit closer so that way, because we're going to have to bring the logs to it to craft it. Um, Let's go. Oh, that's a hunting camp. I'll just put it right here. Yeah. Right there, that's fine. Not too far away. And then this one's a woodcutter's lodge. Firewood. Sure, I'll put that there. I definitely want to get a saw pit as well. Right there. People, get to work. 
All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Jink post, storehouse, granary. All right, let's keep it going. Farmhouse, field. Deep farm, windmill. Bloomery, smithy. I remember the last time... What was it? The last time we were getting ready to... To make a... Uh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Approval's not doing great. Last time we were getting ready to... Or no, we, we did make in the marketplace... There was like a uh, a food stall that I made, I think, or a food cart. But I don't think I can make that just yet. Requirement for the plots, like many of your citizens, it needs ale to function. Go ahead and make the tavern right here. But first, yeah, honestly, they can they can do whatever right now. We need more families. That's all I know. <laughs> all I know is we need more families right now. Construction finished. All right, there's another one. We only got one family that's currently homeless. Approval rating has gone up. Not bad, not bad. Once this final location is built, then we got all the families in a nice little row of homes. Granary, homeless tents, logging camp. Man, it is pouring out there for these guys. Who is this? Who is this guy? That's not a person, unless if they're moving here. Are they moving here? Maybe they're moving in. Sediment level increased. Or are they just are they just a traveler? Sir, who are you? What are you doing in a village? Just going on a hike, I guess. Wait, who's who's got the dog? I heard a dog bark. Nice, another family moved in right there. Yeah, I guess that guy's just going his own route. To get more population, you need enough empty plots and your approval needs to be over 50% or above 50%. Okay, so right now we're, we're doing good then. We're getting there. Food stall. We still need to make this uh, hunting camp. And the saw pit. And it's taken a while to make all this stuff. You know, I should actually move this. Can I move the granary over there? Because they have to move it all the way from there to here. And then this is extra firewood, stone, and tools. Still got the woodcutter's lodge to make too. Yeah, let me actually let's demolish this. Although it's gonna suck having to do that, because now our supplies are out in the open. Let's be a little bit more smart about that. Where is it? Granary. Rotate.
put this right there. And build a tiny road from there to there. That way it goes from here to there. Let's set high. And actually, wait, so if we need more slots for people to move in, let's set this on high. Yeah, this will be highest. And I do want to bump this up a little bit. The tavern doesn't need to be built just yet. The tavern can be built, but I definitely want the extra house to be built. Let's see. Fuel, two months. Uh, food, six months. Yeah, we're going to need this. Uh, we need this woodcutter's lodge. I think the woodcutter is the one that, that gives us fuel and fire. Still, we're making progress. Speed it up a bit. This house is almost complete. All right, we're at 51%. Market food variety. That's good. We got another home, another family joining us. Yep, yep. Another family has joined, so now we can get uh, a little bit more construction going on. Welcome in, welcome, welcome. Beautiful. All right. So since, well, we got six families, nobody's homeless. Good. That's good. I do think we should make another, though, because if we're going to want more families to come join us, then we need to con continue to build. Another two. Man, it's tough. It's tough managing all this. <laughs> Alright, speed it up a bit. Because we're going to need to... We, we got to get this, uh, this wood lodge going, though. Woodcutter's lodge. And we got to assign one family to it. Everything else has somebody assigned to it. Same thing. This needs to be made as well. Oh boy. Let's take somebody off the store storehouse for right now. Just so we can get three families working on these three locations. Tavern is gonna be the lowest. Like super low. We can do that when we get to it. Everything else we gotta get up. We gotta get the rest of it up like ASAP. All right, let's speed up time. Go with this. this is, well, I'm starting to get nervous about the woodcutters thing since we only got two months of that. Okay. Ooh. Definitely assign somebody there. Somebody's going there. I think it's the... Well, let me make sure it's the woodcutters. Yes, it is. Workers fell nearby trees to produce firewood. Whew. Okay, that should hopefully catch us up because we only got two months. Food we're doing fine on. Fuel, not so. Not so much. All right, good, good. We, looks like we got another family that joined us. Still got these goods that are exposed, but once this is built, we'll be good on that.
How we doing? Worst case, I assign another to this one, but I'm hoping to see this go up soon. Cause they're making they're making the firewood. Getting there. Dropping it off. Okay, good, good. Some very good progress right there. That's almost built. Perfect. That looks great. And nice. We're up to three months. Perfect. It's going up. It's no longer down to two, so that looks good. Do we ever build the uh, the hunter's camp? No, we still haven't built that. All right, let me assign somebody over to the granary. Do I? Yeah. Because right now, our, all of our goods are still on the open. I don't know if we need somebody on the... Uh, yeah, right now, we don't need anybody on the storehouse. So though, yep. Hans over here transporting all this bread and other items over there. At least it wasn't raining. While we are crafting this. Somebody is working there. Somebody's working there. Lodging camp's looking good. Okay, not too bad, not too bad so far. Everything is looking good right now. Everybody's doing a great job right now. The approval is going up, so I like that. I like to see that. Yeah, like I said, chat, if you guys are, well, for anybody that is watching this, if you are enjoying it, leaving a like does make a huge difference. And then also, if you do have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Because I, I, I still really enjoy these types of games. But I'm absolutely a noob at the same time. Here we go. Firewood card and food card. Yep, that's the one that I was looking at before. Okay, so we had the... If I see the number up here, that means we got a point available. So... We should be able to make this... I wonder if it's like in here somewhere. Marketplace. Here we go. Firewood cart. Are they facing each other or are they... Yeah, they're like back to back. Huh. Go firewood cart. And food cart. And then the next thing I really want to do is... We, we got to get this thing built, the saw pit built, so that way we can get some planks. And then once we have some planks, we can uh, upgrade the hitching posts. Make things move a little bit faster here. Set this the highest. Speed up the process. 
Food, food and fuel is looking good right now as well. Another family has joined. We've got some stuff that's getting, uh, oh boy, hitting the rain. All right, once that's con uh, complete, let's go ahead and assign one family there. Actually, do we need, you know what, let's do two. Because we don't really need anything built. Yes, there's the tavern. But that's kind of as needed. Or like once we don't have any priorities. Because then after we have a bunch of planks, not only can I upgrade this, but we can also start the process to build the... Um, we can start the process to build the church. Which I was never able to build during my last playthrough, or, or we just finished it. One of those happened. Unassigned family is needed for construction work, Avern. We still really don't have anybody sitting in the uh, storehouse over here. But it's technically any additional items. Like right now we've got firewood stone tools. There's a ton of firewood that can be held over here, which is nice. We're still not at a like huge pace for logs, so that's fine. Same thing with, with this. The pantry can hold a decent amount there, but I guess they automatically start moving them here at some point. We actually save too. Cool. Making good progress still. Unassign at least one family. I like how everything is kind of like all the working materials are kind of like all right here between each other. And then you got the houses right here. And then a little bit of a marketplace and a tavern. Hunting camp. The hunting camp is finally created, but I haven't assigned anybody just yet. Let's see, if I unassign somebody from right here, or all the supplies moved, it doesn't show that the, I mean, there's, it's still, there's some pl supplies there, but it's only like two logs. And I think they would just go over here instead. Yeah, we really got the got to get these uh, saws, saw pits going. We're up to fifty four percent. Nice. Five months, twelve months. Good, good. We got to get the salt salt pit going so that way we can actually build this small stable. I think that's what's like kind of holding us back the most right now. Cuz we only have I mean even though we're we're not crafting that much besides like some houses. If we are able to get that then be a lot better off. Well, I'll still, I'll still leave one family unassigned for right now, and then we'll just manage the rest of these. Man. Where are these people? What are they doing? They're waiting. Waiting for what? Oh, shoot. Going there? Okay, one's going. Going home. Never mind, they're waiting. Why are they waiting? So I have two on the logs. Oh, they're waiting for somebody to bring one there. Generic storage full. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, I guess you can only really have one person on this. You're doing great, girl halls. Because <laughs> now she's going to chop it up. Oh, that made us five? Oh, really? Wait, that's perfect. I thought it only made like two before. But that made that made plenty. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. It was small, stable. New mercenary companies available. This needs to get cut up some more. Nice. Okay. All right. We got another family joining us. All right. We're doing good. We're doing good. Let's go ahead and order another ox. And then let's assign one family here. And then I think we build some more houses, maybe, maybe after the tavern, after the tavern's built, we built some more houses. Cause the tavern is almost built. Excess good. Yeah. That's so weird that it gets, uh, reserve will will never be used for crafting so that enough raw resources are left for construction. Oh, oh, that's what's happening. Wait, excess goods. It's because you can only have one log stored here and then it just sits there. Tavern is almost complete. Almost. We still don't have a hunter, though. You know what? Let's unassign one person from this. And assign them here. To go do some hunting. Everybody's got one place. The storage house doesn't really have anything yet. But that's okay, because this, this only has one. Let me put this on medium. All right, we're up to 55%. So we're getting there. Market variety. Food market variety. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kind of cool that we have, I mean, these houses here are a little bit on a slant. These three houses are very close together and they continuously become more of a slant, I guess. Beautiful. There's the tavern. Oh, we have to assign a family to work here for it to be open. Okay. We made it to June. We're in spring right now. Crops grow, possible droughts, harvesting, plowing, and sowing crops. Looks good. Okay, so let's. But we do. We still don't have that many families. I feel like we would need more families. We got enough food for 14 months right now, though. And this is still growing. Play rich deposit. Can I make something that will gather clay? You'd also build the church. You know what? Let's build the church. And a few more houses. Put 
But the house is having the higher priority. The first two houses having the higher priority. Because now we need somebody to work into the tavern. I want to try to bring in another family for that. Then once we bring in another family for that... Um, We can kind of go from there, I guess. So let's see, is this guy, is there a guy all the way out here hunting? I click on this, then go to people. Transporting. These. Ouch, that's rough. <laughs> Bring this here. Nickel and, and on. Hans. transporting the uh you know i could make them a road let's make them a road from there to like here oh this is heavier than it looks and now let's go from like There to there. That way they don't have to travel down here and then go to that. Hopefully they'll redirect onto that. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they're on their path already. Iron deposit, stone deposit. Play deposit. Let's see crops used to employ families on the field farmhouse farm workers plow the fields as soon as the winter passes no later than November then they sow them with chosen crops pasture communal oven use flour to produce bread I guess it would be this one. Converts clay to clay tiles. Is that clay that you need right there? So how do we actually get somebody to mine it mining here we go workers gather stone in nearby field deposits used to extract iron ore smithing oh okay trees uprooted for construction so if i put it right here only two will be removed Oh, you know what? I could also do this. With bits. Uh, yeah, that kind of works. Yeah, it's good. it's better to have two paths, I feel like. One that goes around the market and then one that also goes there. Wooden church. All right, these are still being built. The houses. Hunting camp. They're doing great over here. They got plenty of storage still. Transitioning resource. How are we doing on planks? So we might even have too many planks right now. 28? Yeah, we're fine on them. If anything, I wouldn't mind actually getting another small stable to get it going. We're at 58% approval. Controls overall population growth as well as morale and militia.
And we got two unassigned families. That way they can start building these houses. It's nice how, how quick I was kind of able to catch up to where I was at. I mean, it's going to be end, probably end up being around the same length video, but I, I feel more, I feel like everything is more put together right here. We definitely have way more houses, maybe even way more families too. New merc mercenary companions available. Nice. A new family moved in. Nice, we got two new families. We're up to 10. That's beautiful. How's this doing? So you technically don't really have to make these, like this storage, because they, they have their own pantry, but then at some point they will get moved over here because this goes up to 500. Meanwhile, this only goes up to 50. So they, they will reach their excessive amount at some point. This thing goes up to 250 as well. But that's... Yeah. It's a lot less. Having three families being able to work on more houses, though, is very nice. I don't know. Do we need to assign a family over here to do this? Oh, it needs to be constructed first. Well, once they finish up this last house, they'll start going for the other things. And there's no complaints as of yet. Oh, wait, this has dropped a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it did, it did drop a little bit. Does the church... I feel like we should do the church first. And let's uh let's assign one family over to the tavern. I'm curious what they'll do. It says waiting. Bills one level of entertainment required for Burgage plots. Like many of your citizens, it needs ale to function. Pantry malt. Uh, required for crafting barley. Generic storage. We, so we might not have the ale for this. Going home waiting. Firewood into charcoal. Mining pit. Logistics. Use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region. And your command employs mules to transport 20 goods per trip. Firewood, food cart, tavern, wooden church. Field, farmhouse, pasture. Rain to flower. Flower to bread. Oh, there's barley. Field. Fields and manor lords are, are need to be very large and effective, but take long to plow by hand. For starting a village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending development points to unlock heavy plow upgrade. Much more bigger fields and efficiently use, utilizing oxen. Check for fit fertility so is that this yellow i don't know which one's better the yellow or the green
I don't know if yellow is telling me that it's resource heavy or if it's saying that green is like better. Um, is there a way to the grain? I know there's a button you can press to see like what the, uh, the stuff around you is, is like. They, whoa, this is different. Whoa, the settings is completely different than before. Controls, maybe? There's camera shake. Army map. Quick uh, view. Assign family. Cinematic modes. Control C. I don't want to try that. Control C that. Oh, okay. Oh, all it does is turn off the HUD. That's cool though. Still. They are building the church. We got two unassigned families. We're definitely going to need to assign somebody here soon. Are these all just waiting? They're fetching water. Bird type uh, upgrades brewery extension. Reduces ale from malt. Converts all inhibitants artisans locking them from being assigned to other jobs and in order to get malt you need barley and in order to get barley you need a field Why do I have to carry this alone? really don't know if this is good or bad <laughs> I really don't know I want to say the green is better but like, is this saying that it's super rich? Careful, you're not about to, you're about to run out of timber and block yourself. Make sure you have a logging camp before placing more buildings. Uh oh. Wait, what? Really? Wait, we, we've got plenty of timber. Yeah, we've got, we've also got a logging camp. Wait, what? Like, I don't know if this is saying... I really don't know. Flax fertility? Oh, here we go. Rye? Smell? Work in progress? Fire hazard? Underground water, okay. All right, so I want to do barley. I don't... I'm going to try this. I'm just going to go here. They suggested we do one. That's kind of huge. Oh, okay, I see. So you kind of want to do like 0.5. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's going to make a giant box. That's one. Farmhouse employees, families who work on the fields, the workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field's set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility. 
You need a farmhouse in order to get somebody. Oh, okay. So now we got to build the farmhouse for the field. And we're probably doing this in the worst time because we're going into uh, like summer soon or whatever. <laughs> so Let's go right there. Now let's build a road from here to there, first of all. From there to there. There to that. under construction though generic storage full is it this one yeah that's fine it's not the generic storage that's full it's the log storage that's full and somebody just needs to chop it up once one time and then it'll be fine got 11 families now Yeah, we're doing pretty good here. I, f I feel like we are. As a community, we're doing doing well. Yield follow. Whoops, didn't mean to pause it. But can I change it to... Okay, yeah, I want to change it to barley. So they'll... Oh, so they'll just, like, automatically, like, plant it. They'll just automatically do it. Because then barley can be turned into malt, and then that can be turned into ale. So right now, I don't think that there's any point in having somebody here. Yeah, there's no point in having somebody in the tavern. So then do one of these... Food cart, tavern. Needs ale to function. Industry. Here we go, malt house. Workers use malt to produce, or barley to produce malt. And it needs to be refueled once per month. Okay, cool. Are they going all the way over here to start building that? The church is almost built. Almost. We don't have any army. <laughs> I don't think we need to worry about really armies for this though, because there's no bandits. There might be like people that that come to us and I uh, when I take our territory, but I'm not sure. Let's actually walk around our little village while they're building. Oh, the church has been built. This is the little, the tiny little marketplace. Got our hunters over here. Looks like they might be out right now or resting. Over here is the first tavern that we've built. Can I actually walk in? Ooh, I can. Okay. Yeah, this will be cool once... Once it's actually built up and running, we've got some barley. We've got the uh, storehouse. This is our stable, small stable. The saw pit. This is like the little workers area, I believe, and the logging camp. Uh, this one is the firewood, the woodcutters, I think. Then the granary, or this is the granary. I think that one's the um, the one that that collects all of the berries. Got our well. The newly built church. Okay. Oh, look at that sun. Oh, 
My bad. Sorry. And then we got a row of homes. That leads all the way. A lot of homes, honestly. I, these all look cozy, too. Yeah, they're not huge, but... They look cozy, you know? Cool. What else? So now they're making the farmhouse. Right now. Which is good. Yeah, I should have known that, honestly, about the tavern, but that's okay. It'll be a nice place. Do we have to assign somebody to the church? We do. Fulfills one level of faith requirement for the lots. So they all have this clothing stall supplies. They want a clothing stall supply for this. Work area is empty. Workers can't find it anything to gather within their work area at least for now uh oh Wait, what do you mean there's stuff right there pedaling transporting they're still making this too Once we finish the farmhouse, I'll assign somebody over to the uh, storehouse. Or let's also get some more houses. Uh, no, we got to go out further. Get three more houses going. We'll set this to high, though. Very high. Let's speed it up just a little bit. This person's about to finish this by themselves. Construction finished mining pit. Okay. Clothing? Oh, that's why. Because we don't have anything to make leather. Ooh. Okay, I see. Is that under logistics? Trading posts. Might be industry. We can turn iron slabs to craft tools. We don't really have iron slabs though. This one converts iron ore into iron slabs. We would need this one. Turns hide into leather. So I'm guessing they automatically get the, uh, that would actually be perfect. Having the tannery across from the hunting camp. Yep. Okay. They So they do get hides. Man, they got to travel so far, though. Ugh. It's a pain. Turn berries into dyes. Could do a little dye workshop. Me assign one family here. Alright, we're at 62% approval. Not bad. We've got the farmhouse set up. Go ahead and assign one family there. If a field is not set to follow, workers will plow it and sow the crops as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows. It is harvested in September during the harvest season. 
But we're in July right now. We got one more month to do this. Fields regenerate all types of fertility, but have no yields. Let's see, so if I go here, plowing by hand. So they're going to plow the fields with barley for now. And then in autumn, they'll harvest it. Seasonal resources gone, firewood consumption doubled. How are we doing right now? Fuel six months. Generic storage is full. It's saying that that's full again, even though it's not. Work area is empty. All right, we're gonna need to assign somebody to the storehouse very, very soon. Let's see if we can make this the highest. Highest priority to get this house put together. That way, we can, if we can bring in one more family, then I can assign somebody to the storehouse. All right, let's speed it up. Actually, let's go super fast. Go, 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 go. Super fast. Come on, bring in one more family. One more family. New mercenaries. Company is available. Yes, there we go. All right, we got a new family joining us. Assign somebody there. All right, we're going to go very high for this one. Boy, it's August already. Last month. All right, super speed. Once this one is built, then we'll see. Once this one is built, I think I'm gonna prioritize because then we'll have two families building stuff. So I, I want to get hide starting to be built too. All right, let's go to four. Well, we need to bring in another family. Once we get another family, I can assign them here. When population of her drops this number, they'll stop hunting. Transported. Yeah, they're still transporting. Jeez. Wait, one of them's transporting from all the way over here? Or no, they're just at home. Oh, they're waiting. Man. Yeah, that's a rough spot to be. <laughs> that's a very rough spot to be. All right, that's being built. Speed it up again. I don't know if they're gonna have enough time to, uh, cause they're still plowing this. I don't know if it works like that. crazy you can assign so many families yeah they're still plowing uh, I don't know about that plowing progress seeding progress crop growth harvest progress <laughs> yeah that ain't happening this it's not happening this season at least I don't think. Workers can't find anything to gather in the area, at least for now. Really? 
It says they're going home. There's still plenty of stuff right there, though. Their area is unlimited. Oh, we got nothing being uh, created right now. Nothing being built, so let's go ahead and assign somebody to Tannery. Yeah, this isn't... I'll, I'll still let them... I'll keep them assigned just in case, because I, I don't know what's going to happen when it hits autumn. Like, are they still going to try to plant it? Harvesting, plowing, sowing crops. I mean, I guess they'll technically, since they can't harvest, they'll just continue to plow it. Oh, the dye workstation is still being crafted or made. Um, what are these people doing? Transporting. Let's uh transporting, getting a basket. Let's let's assign somebody. Let's assign somebody from there. Somebody will always be gathering logs, most likely. Cause that can be used for so many other things. What do they do here? Waiting? Provides hallowed ground for burial of the dead villagers. Workers become... Oh, they become... Okay, we don't need these yet then. What? Yeah, we only need to assign people to this then when, when somebody starts dying. Unfortunately. Yeah, see, it, it pays to read right there. We got some people crafting, turning the hide into leather now, though. And then they'll be able to set up another uh, area here. Abandoned food cart and firewood. family owns a market stall if you want to sign them the market will have taken over by someone else food stall could get another little like stable or something I'm not gonna lie, I was I was a little nervous at first getting back into this because it's it's been a little bit, like two weeks or so. But then like once I, like got the feel of it in the first 15 minutes, I was like, man, this this game's so much fun. It's so cool. It's a very cool game. We still haven't like leveled up to get another, unlock another thing here. Cheap breeding, heavy plow, produce apples, trapping. There's also policies in production. I wonder who goes for the fire. Oh, maybe it's because we don't have somebody. We don't have a family assigned to the saw pit. Is anything being crafted right now? Still, I don't know if anything is. Yeah, actually there is. The dye shop is still being made. But then the thing is, we're going to have to assign somebody there. Ooh, ooh we got to slow down on the logs. Yeah, we gotta have somebody assigned here. Is there like a log storage at all?
I mean, we got plenty of trees right now. What I should do is start to, like, expand this way. Now that we kind of got, like, a farm in this section, we should expand this way so that way we can start getting, like, stone deposits and iron. And assign a family to, like, that. Uh, no, it doesn't. That's so weird. It doesn't. This just barely breaks the breaks it off from them being able to walk. Damn, does that mean they're going to have to walk from here to, like, all the way around and not just through there? Dog thinks it's dinner time, but it's not dinner time. I know, Kiara. Yeah, I don't know if they're... Are they... They're not working on anything else besides that. Generic storage is full. Yeah, we can't... We can't get any more logs. <laughs> not until that's... Uh... Until it's done. Is there anywhere that we can... S Hold on, let's go to storage. Firewood cart, marketplace, food cart, tavern, wooden church, corpse pit. Well... We're up to 14 families now. I don't think there is anything for, like, storing your timber. I think it just sits there. Yeah, I think we just got to use it up. That's it. It's at 29 out of uh, 28. You also save. Oh, we got a family there. I can assign somebody to the saw pit. I think that was the last thing for building right now. The rest of the families are assigned. So I guess, th yeah, they just continue to plow it. Even though we're in... Oh, oh no, we're still in August. So they'll they'll just be extra prepared for the next season. Once spring comes around, seasonal deposit regrow. Winter. All right. So. All right. Well, I think we're gonna leave it right here because we we made some good progress. Uh, having to start over, but I I'm actually satisfied with how this this new town came out so far so it's been pretty cool uh next time we'll probably start expanding out this way build some houses uh hopefully get some new people into our town and then go from there if you guys have any suggestions feel free to throw them into the uh, comments section if you enjoyed it leave a like on the video stop by the live stream time uh anytime i go live typically around 5 30 p.m eastern on weekdays and 9 a.m eastern on weekends but for now, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching as always, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.